Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm in beautiful Cape Town, South Africa, and I'm here to talk about the mild hybrid system on the Audi A7 Sportback. When you think hybrid, a few things come to mind. The fact that you're probably gonna be saving on fuel, and there's some sort of electrical component. Let's find out what exactly mild hybrid means. Over the last decade, automakers have been replacing traditionally mechanically driven components with more efficient parts like electrical power steering racks, electrical braking, and like water pumps. On top of that, automakers have been adding a ton of new infotainment options, and we have things like driver assist, adaptive cruise control, plus you've got heated seats and heated steering wheels. Needless to say, the standard 12 volt electrical system is being stretched a little bit thin. So we need that 48 volt system to step in and provide a little bit of extra power. Different manufacturers are using this 48 volt battery in different ways. Bentley uses the battery to drive an electrical sway bar system for better handling. The 2017 Audi SQ7 TDI uses that system like an electrical supercharge. And the Audi A8 and A7 Sportback are sporting a mild hybrid system. The mild hybrid classification is a gasoline electric vehicle, but the mild is a reference to how much or how rather little the car uses the electrical motor. In a full hybrid car, the electrical motor propels the car forward. In a mild hybrid, the electrical component cannot and will not move the car. The gas-powered engine is doing all the work. The electrical motor is only assisting. The 48 volt battery has three components, the electric starter generator, electrical supercharger, and DC-DC converter. This final component supports the more traditional 12 volt battery. We're gonna use the Audi A7 Sportback and the A8 as our primary examples since this was the first time we really noticed the mild hybrid engine having an impact on the driving experience. The most obvious or actually least obvious benefit is a smoother stop start. You can't even tell that it's happening. This marriage of electrification and combustion engines, you don't even notice the car turned off while idling at the light. If the driver takes his foot off the accelerator at speeds between 55 and 160 kilometers an hour, the car can coast for up to 40 seconds between having the engine off completely and turning on. During slow coasting, the stop-start phase already begins at 22 km an hour. When you're stopped at a light, the stop-start feature will use the front camera to predictively restart the engine as soon as the vehicle ahead starts moving. Now decoupling the engine from the transmission has been around for years, but the biggest change in the Audi A7 Sportback and the A8 is that you can disengage the engine and shut it down for a full 40 seconds. When it comes to the drive, we did notice that the braking did feel a little bit soft since the mild hybrid engine will use this opportunity to recuperate some power. The real benefit of a mild hybrid system is that it saves on fuel. When you're in stop start, it actually shuts down the engine. When you're sailing, it can disengage the transmission for 40 full seconds. And when you're braking, you can actually recoup some of that energy. This is the driving moment that made me curious to learn more about the mild hybrid system since the feedback on the pedal was noticeably electric. But the 48 volt system gives some other advantages. On the A8, adaptively dampened air suspension is standard with comfort and dynamic modes. With the help of the camera, the car can see potholes or speed bumps ahead and then adjust the suspension to make a smoother ride. Because the car knows the obstacles are there, it can prepare itself accordingly. Rather than the anti-roll bars, the A8 is equipped with an electrical actuator on each corner. These actuators pick up the individual wheels or even lift the whole car. Luxury cars can be packed with so much intelligence, it makes a lot of sense that we're seeing more mild hybrid systems hit the street. If this explained to you what was going on and you liked it, why don't you give us a thumbs up and while you're at it, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more great videos like these. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks.